Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, use SQL to return distinct or matching rows using accept and intercept uh, statements. All right, so here in my SQL server, I have already written some of the uh, SQL queries. All right, so let's look at the uh, queries first before I dive into the tutorial. All right, so for my open data database, I have uh, two tables that I'm going to be using. One is called Budget Position Salary Chicago for year 2022. And the other table is going to be for year 2019. So essentially, uh, the table's uh, metadata is going to be exactly the same, except that the records are going to be a little bit different. And for this exercise, I'll be using department code and department description columns to uh, solve two problems that I'm going to uh, supply. All right, so here, uh, let's run the, these two uh, SQL statements. Actually, uh, I just want the department description and department code. And that returns all the departments are list in these two tables. Now I have two questions that I want to answer. The first question is going to be, I want to return departments exist in both year 2019 and year 2022. And the way how we can approach this problem is by using the intercept statement. So I'm going to grab this uh, SQL statement and I'll remove the top 10 uh, statement. And if I run the SQL query, it's going to return 7,404 rows. If I run the query for year 2019, I'm going to get 7,445 rows. Now to figure out the departments exist in both tables. So here we can simply insert the intercept statement. The intercept statement is going to look at the uh, result set from both SQL statements and do a comparison to see uh, what records matches. Then it's going to return the uh, unique list. Oops, here, let me go back. Then it's going to return the unique list from these 20 records. These are the departments exist in both 2019 and 2020 tables. So using the intercept statement, we can easily solve uh, the first question. Returning departments exists in both year 2019 and year 2022. Now the second question you may see sometimes in a SQL interview is, return records that exist in one table, but not in another table. So in this case, I want to uh, see all the departments exist in uh, year 2022 table, but not in the 2019 table. And to answer the question, we can simply take the uh, existing SQL statement that we just wrote. Now copy and paste. And here I can change intercept to accept. Now if I run the uh, SQL query, and it's going to return these 17 uh, departments that exist in the year 2022 table, but not in the 2019 table. And if I want to know what departments exist in the 2019 table, but not in the 2022 table, what I need to do here is I just need to uh, swap the table to let the uh, 2019 table go first. Then I'll put the uh, year 2022 table below. And I'll run the uh, SQL query. And I'll return these uh, 16 departments that exist in the 2019 table but not in the 2022 table. All right, so this is going to be if I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.